Hello, people. Tony Diamond. And Crusher. And you were watching the scene. You are about to watch it. It's badass. You better watch it. You better stay for the whole thing. Because if you don't, I'm going to beat your ass. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Hello people, Tony Diamond and Crusher, and welcome to this week's edition of The Scene. We got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. Some good, some not so good. Uh, I'm disappointed. I'm majorly disappointed. Because I really got screwed. I I agree completely 100% with you. I am so livid about the wrestling show. For the people that don't know that didn't make it to the... Henry Tennessee show, swag wrestling, over the weekend, we got screwed bad. Badly. Bad. And we had a tag team partner. Yes. That night. Um, you opted to step back and, and see how this thing would go between me and the Iron Horse. Yeah, because there's some history there. Yeah, me and Iron Horse... Never really got along. No. We've had a lot of matches in Henry, Tennessee. Yeah. And at one point, he was a family member of Brimstone. Yeah. And his clique. Yeah. And they kicked him out. Kicked him to the curb. He come up and asked if we'd have a, if we would have a match with two other guys. Yeah. And... We agreed, you know, um, but it was within a second because these guys were outside in the ring and we just decided at that second. Well, so, I, I think the way, you know, the way that I think that it came undone, it's like, you know, the, we had, there were these two rivals, you know, and they decided that they were going to be friends or something. I, I don't understand what it was about. Yeah, I you don't know, know. But, you know, as, as, you know, as a manager type, you know, you look for opportunities, you know, and yeah. that was a perfect opportunity, you know. Yeah, we got Crusher, we got Iron Horse. Side. Yeah, we got two of the biggest guys in swag wrestling, you know, and I mean big as in size, experience, you know, uh, everything, you know. This is the perfect team, you know. I mean, how could you be beaten? Yeah. Right? You know, both of you, the, 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 between the two of you, you're pulling over 600 pounds. Yeah. And you got me backing you up, you know. A lot, of, a lot of time went into it, or not a lot of time, but a lot of thought went into this. Yeah. You know? It's like, he's available, why not? You know, let's, let's do this. It. Yes. So we got these two knuckleheads in the ring, you know, being buddy buddy or whatever the hell it is they're doing, and we decided that that's the way it should be. These are, these are the two guys that we should go after first. And we should have known that Brimstone was going to jump in. Yeah. Stick his nose where it didn't belong from the beginning. Yeah. Because of their history, but because of, you know, Brimstone kicking him out of the family. Yeah. And we should have known that his idiot ass would come out there and cause trouble. Yeah. But, see, where it backfired on us, because we wanted a match. All we wanted all was we wanted a good match. match. Yeah. That's all we wanted. No cheating, because we don't cheat. Yeah, we don't cheat. And it ended up being four on three. Pretty much. And really four on two because you weren't doing anything but other than managing. outside the yes. I was managing. I was doing you, my, my managerial job. You were minding your business, doing yes. your thing outside. Watching the out for my team, yes. And they come along. And, and all we wanted was a match. Yes. Well, somehow, and this is the thing that boggles me, is how did Brimstone 
end up being the referee. That's the thing I don't understand. Because of that commissioner. That commissioner, the boss, the owner of that company, if you... And we're going to show the tapes. Yeah, we're going to show the match. can go back and watch the match. And watch the commissioner at the announcer table. Watch Brimstone in the ring. The only cover that I make, the only pin attempt that I go for in the match, Brimstone looks over at the commish and turns away and starts picking a fight with you. Starts picking a fight with me. And you're telling him, turn around. Yeah. I just jump up on the ring apron and say, dude, do your damn job. And you know, his, his, man, his, his referee skills were like this. This is how this is how down yeah. the center it was. And it was supposed to be like this, down yeah. the middle. Down the middle, it's supposed to be fair. But no, it went everywhere it's ever it was supposed to be. Down the middle. So, so but if, if, and watch, watch it toward the end because you see him look over at the commissioner, at the boss. And you see him turn around and pick a fight with pick you fight with me. while I'm pinning the guy. Yeah. I had to match one. I let, I was there for 10 seconds. I had three people beat. Yeah. And so I get up to confront Brimstone. He turns around and clocks me. Yeah. And surprise, the guy that was laying on the mat that I went to pin... Oh, he was just there to, to grab my just, leg. And just pin conveniently, me. yes. One, two, three. And, and it was done. Three. Yes. So, if you count the two guys in the ring, you count Brimstone in the ring refereeing. The refereeing. If you count the commissioner, the boss, outside at the announcer table, yeah. it was four on two. Because he wasn't doing nothing. I was doing nothing. Minding wrong. his own business. Yes. Outside the ring yes. in the corner. Yes. So it was four on two. Yes. They had that planned. They did, they did something. They they had it planned. Yeah. So the next show is and it, somehow this became about Brimstone and, and Tony freaking Diamond. You know? Yeah. I, I you know not really sure how that worked out, but you know. <laughs> I'm not I'm not smart enough or something to back down from a fight. I don't care who it is, you know? If it's a fight, so be it. You know? I haven't wrestled in probably what, one, two years? You know? Yeah. I did a little magic stuff here and there, you know? That's cool, you know? And then he wants to pick a fight with me. So And all we were doing was minding our business. Minding our business. Doing our thing. Yes. Being fair and square. But no, they had to, they had to pick a fight. So now, and and did you notice right away? The commissioner after the match says that now it's going to be a six man tag. Yes. So you're thrown in a match with me and Iron Horse. Yeah. Who we're trying to build something with because build a foundation, yes. it's, it's good to have that guy on our side yeah. and put us three in a match against Brimstone um, Exodus and Captain Morgan Yeah. and the commissioner says there's going to be a special enforcer for that match. Yeah, another special enforcer. There was already one, and we got screwed. So yeah. is it going to be <laughs> five against three the next time? <laughs> no, it ain't happening. Because at this next show, which is September 7th in Henry, Tennessee, for swag wrestling, for the next show, and I, I've already... Open my mouth. I've already got this thing going. Yeah. If we win the match. When we win the match, the commissioner's head gonna look like ours. It's gonna look just gonna like look ours. Just like this, because your ass is gonna be shaved. You done screwed over my wrestling team, and I'm really, really pissed off. So be ready. Be ready to be bald. Bald is beautiful. Not so everybody but you. Come over to the bald side because it's going to happen. <laughs> it is going to happen. I, I, I'm trying to be humorous to a certain extent about this, you know, because I don't want my every waking moment to be about this for the next 30 days. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, the last two days. It's going to bug me. It's the last gonna... two days, it's been eating at me, you know, <laughs> and it's been eating at me bad, you know. <laughs> you know, 
I just keep this, it just keeps going through my head over and over and over. And when it does that, it builds a certain rage, you know, that I have to wait 30 days till what, September 7th? Yeah, September To take 7th. care of this problem. I like, I like to take care of things right now. So now I have this thing sitting on the, on, in the back of my brain for the next 30 days, you know? And if I'm this adamant about, about it now, imagine what it's going to be like in 30 days. 30 days. Somebody's head's really getting shaved. Yeah. Somebody get their ass busted. And because I said that the commissioner was going to be shaved, yeah, he apparently has made that stipulation that he'll be shaved if we win the when we win the match. When it's not going to be no if. Yeah. Because see, we've been around for a long time, and we have tricks of our own. Oh yeah. So. They want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In humane society, we can play dirty. Yeah. And. But it, I keep noting that we were playing fair and square. We were very fair that night. Yeah. No cheating no on cheating. our part. And you'll see it on the match. You know what? Let's go ahead and show the match real quick. All right. And then we'll come back and. Yeah. And we'll get into the show and let the fans decide. Yeah, you, you be the judge. Because I tell you, we were fair and square, and they screwed us. They, they screwed, screwed us, us bad. bad. So, the only thing you'll see in that match is him in the corner, minding his own business. Not touching any other wrestlers. Me in the corner when not doing anything when I'm not supposed to be. Yeah. And them cheating their butt off. You'll see it. You'll see it. Check it out. We'll be back. Of Crusher Cola and Iron Hole! Gentlemen, he will be doing his job. Oh, 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 oh,
I want you to explain it, sir. You fall in something, jerk. You don't want stuff. Go get stuff. You don't like me. said that there's going to be a special enforcer. Well, I was the special enforcer for the last show, and you saw what happened. Showtime. 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 As far as you, Tony, just like I told the guys, I'm coming for your ball-headed lollipop ass. And if, horse, you get in the way, put this corner in first. There'll be a pony leaving the building. Crusher. Pull it out. September the 7th. Iron Horse. We've had many of battles around here. And all of them ended the same. You land on the mat whining about losing. Crusher, after what I've seen in the ring, you didn't impress me none. You ain't got nothing. This Tony guy they're talking about. All he is is a mouthpiece. He's just gonna run his mouth over there in the corner. He ain't gonna be able to stop us. So whatever y'all wanna bring, y'all just bring Six it on. Man tag sounds like a lot of fun to me. And it's gonna be a lot of fun for everyone who sits and watches it. I'm not gonna sound big and bad and run my mouth about how we're gonna win or you're going down because the truth is anybody can get lucky and anybody can have a bad night. But I can promise you this, I'll be here. I'll be ready, and I'll see you in Henry, Saturday the 7th, because for you, the exodus has begun. So just like we thought it was going to go down, it happened. Brimstone screwed us. The commissioner had a lot to do with it. Well, on September the 7th, Brimstone, Tony Diamond takes care of you. Exodus, Captain Morgan, Iron Horse takes care of you. And on September the 7th, I shave the commissioner's head because we will win the match and we're going to get a little redemption because you don't piss off the wrong people. Brimstone, you made a big mistake. It took a lot of work to get Iron Horse and Crusher on the same page just to have you step in and screw it up. You and that stupid commission. Come September 7th, I'm going to kick your ass right off this planet. I get this camera on my face before I kick your...